is question number 10. And it says the demand and cost functions for a certain product are given by P of X is equal to 60 minus 0.1X and C of X is equal to 12X plus 1200, where X is between 0 and 400 units. Which of the following statements is not true? So it says the profit from the sale of 100 items is or $2,600. So profit equals revenue minus cost. Well, revenue is demand times X. So a revenue equation is equal to 60X minus 0.1X squared. So therefore, our profit function is equal to 60X minus 0.1X squared minus 12X minus 1,200. And it says that for A to be true, 100 items would have to give us um, 260 or $2,600. So if I plugged 100 in here, I would get 6,000 minus 100 squared is um, 10,000 times 0.1 is going to be 1,000 minus 1,200 minus 1,200. So we've got 6,000 minus 1,000, 2,200, 3,200. Or actually, yeah, this is 3,400, because 1,200 minus 1,200 is negative 2,400, and then this is 2600. So statement A is true. Okay, now statement B says the marginal profit when x is 100 is approximately 26, or is approximately $28 per unit. The profit from the sale of 101 items is approximately 26.28. So we know that the revenue, or the profit for selling 100 items is. $2,600. So if we know that the marginal profit is $28 at 100 units, that's the additional profit we would get after selling one more unit. So that is true. Uh, B is true. C, it says since uh, the second derivative of profit of 100 is less than zero for the profit function P of X, marginal profit is decreasing at X equals 100. So it's saying if that our second derivative is negative um, for our profit function, the marginal profit is decreasing. Um, and that's true because we want the rate of the marginal profit. Marginal profit is P prime. The rate of that would be P double prime. And we know that that's less than zero. So we know that it is decreasing. So C is also true. D says in order to sell 300 items, the price of the product must be $30. So we know that the demand is equal to 60 minus 0.1x. And so it says in order to sell 300 items, so P of x, or it's also known as our price function, um, if we want to sell 300 items, we're going to have to set our price at a certain value, 0.1. That'll make is there. So 60 minus 30 is 30. So um, in order to sell 300 items, the price of the product does need to be uh, $30. So that's true. And then E, revenue is maximized when 200 items are sold. So a revenue, remember, is this guy up here. If we're wanting to maximize it, we need to find R prime of X to be 60 minus 0.2X. We want to set the maximize it, we set it equal to zero. Subtract 60. So minus 0.2x is equal to negative 60. Divide by negative 0.2. We get x is equal to 300. So e is the incorrect because revenue is maximized when 300 items are sold, not 200. So your answer choice is e.